This is a Spree Model Network TV and you're watching a closer look at our Jetty pressure sensors. In this episode, I'll explain the four different Jetty duplex telemetry sensors we have which are used to measure various pressures. These are available for purchase on JettyUSA.com or SpreeModel.com. The Jetty Duplex system can display up to 40 real-time telemetry parameters at once and offers over 15 different sensors. With so much going on, it's very easy to get lost in what each sensor provides, especially when they seem very similar. Today, I'm going to break down each pressure sensor and explain the features and the uses for these. Let's start with the M-Speed sensors. The M-Speed measures your speed of aircraft by the use of air pressure to provide indicated air speed. Since your aircraft is moving, the pressure is not the same in all directions. Therefore, the M-Speed bases its measurement on the change in dynamic pressure, which is measured by a pitot tube. The ability to measure air speed can come in handy when determining the stall speed. Through the use of your Jetty device, whether it be a Jetty box or your Jetty transmitter, you can then program an audible alert for when your aircraft drops below that speed. You can also use your Jetty device to program an alarm for when your desired speed has been met or exceeded. Jetty offers two different airspeed sensors, the M-Speed and the M-Speed 450. The difference lies in the speed capabilities of each sensor. The M-Speed can measure 25 to 350 kilometers per hour, while the M-Speed 450 can measure a higher range of 80 to 450 kilometers per hour. The sensor you'll need will be based on the specifics of your aircraft. The M-Vario 2 measures the atmospheric pressure and uses it to calculate your altitude above sea level. This particular sensor will also indicate whether you're climbing or descending. When combined with any of the two M-Speed sensors, you can actually measure the rate of climb or the rate of descent. If you fly F5J or ALES, you now have the ability to use this sensor as an altitude switch. It can easily be set up to turn off your motor once you've reach, reached a certain altitude. With the M-Vario 2, you can set alarms for various parameters. For example, if you're in a limited altitude contest, you can set an alarm for your maximum altitude. The newest sensor, the m Alti, uses atmospheric pressure, like the M-Vario 2, to calculate your altitude. It also measures the temperature of the sensor and the air pressure. Very much like the M-Vario 2, this sensor is a more basic, stripped-down altitude sensor. The MBAR sensor measures the fluid pressure in your hydraulic or pneumatic systems. This sensor will not only give you the current pressure, but it will record the maximum and minimum measured values as well. With the MBAR, you can set alarms for high pressure or even a drop in pressure. This can be useful for controlling oil pressure in your hydraulic system or when running retractable landing gear. The MBAR can also keep track of the sensor's own temperature. This provides the awareness if the sensor reaches temperatures outside the operating temperature range. All of these sensors talked about here today, with the exception of the m Alti, can also be used as expanders. This makes it much easier to run multiple jetty sensors in one aircraft. For product availability, visit our website at jettyusa.com or spreemodel.com. Thanks for watching. See you next week.